guys, welcome back to Let's Cook That. Today, we'll be making some chile colorado. Chile colorado, you can actually make either beef or pork, but we did get a request from a subscriber and they said pork. So today we're gonna make pork chile colorado. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video so you can become part of our family where this kitchen is seasoned with love. So now let's get started with those ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients that we'll be using is of course our pork. I will leave the list of the kind that you can use on the description box with everything else, okay? And then we have a small piece of onion, some bay leaves, garlic, the whole peppercorn, salt, cumin, oregano, and then we have flour and the chiles. We have guajillo, new Mexico chilies, and this one is called chile ancho or dry pasilla chili. It just depends where um, you know it from. But this is all we need. And now, and of course, a little bit of oil and some water. So we'll get started. Alrighty, so first, let's go ahead and get our meat. And this one has a little bit of too much fat. You want a little fat, but not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the fat to get the fat out of the way. Okay, so our next step will be, we're gonna like sear our meat, okay? It needs to get a little bit brown and then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer with its own little juice for about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and add the meat. Now just go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit, because you're going to add more salt to your, um, to your chia. Let's go ahead and just mix your meat, so it can't like get a little brown on all of them. So in the meantime that our meat is searing, let's go ahead and clean out our chiles. So you're gonna take out the seeds, the little veins, and wash them really good. If you don't have New Mexico chile, you can also use just guajillo by itself, but these two chilies together, it's, a, it's really good. It tastes a really good, really good flavor. And then this one that I said is chile ancho or dry pasilla, only one, okay? Not a lot. Just one. Let's take that off. So once your meat starts to fry in a little bit, it probably took like 15 minutes. You're gonna go ahead and add a little tiny bit of water, maybe like two ounces, just a little bit. And then the flour, go ahead and put it over your meat. And let's go ahead and mix this. Put it to low after you do this. First you're gonna cook it on medium, medium to low, and then you're gonna put it to low. Okay, you can also dissolve your um, flour first with a little bit of warm water, that's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it, put it on low. We're gonna let this simmer while we make our chili. Now, to make our chile colorado, this step is optional, but it brings out like the best flavor of your chiles. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, fry these like for 30 seconds, and then we'll put them into our hot water. You can, after you wash them, you can also pot dry them so the oil won't fizzle like that and you won't be scared of burning yourself. But I mean, it doesn't bother me. Put them into your hot water so they can start getting soft. Continue with the rest of the chili. Don't fry them for more than 30 seconds because then your chilies could get like a bitter taste and you don't want that. And then we'll do the same with the onion. Two of the garlic cloves and leave one garlic clove, like not cooking it, okay? 
just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and put our onion and our garlics into the water so they could boil together with the chiles. If you don't want to do this step and you just want to boil everything, that's totally fine, but this gives it a really good flavor. So let's go ahead and bring this to a boil like for five minutes and then we'll go ahead and start blending. Okay, let's put our chiles. And it is recommended for you to wait until your chiles are completely cooled down just to be safe, you know, with your blender, but. Let's go ahead. So like I said, it's always safer to wait until your chiles are cooled down, but I mean, I'm used to doing it when it's hot. I'll probably learn the hard way if something ever happens, but let's knock on wood. Let's go ahead and put our cumin, our oregano, our other garlic clove, and then your whole black peppercorn and then let's go ahead and put our salt onion and then we'll put a little bit of water from the one that you cooked your chiles maybe like half of the amount or a little bit more and let's go ahead and take this to blend okay so we did blend our chili for about two minutes this looks nice because you want your chili to be a little bit of, on the thick side so what we're gonna go ahead and do is add our chile to a strainer. You don't want that. So let's go ahead and stir. Oh, it smells so good. Now let's go ahead and add our bay leaves. Let's add your bay leaves. And now you're gonna try it for salt to see if it's good or if it needs more. I feel like it needs a little bit more. So right here, like I always mention, you can either use salt or you could put um, chicken bouillon. But I think I do not have no chicken bouillon. Oh yeah, I do, I have a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and add a little bit. And this is to taste. Let's go ahead and stir. And if your chile is too thick, go ahead and just add a little bit more water, okay? Because you're going to simmer it for like 20 minutes, so it will absorb a little bit. Let's go ahead and try it again. It's perfect. So now you're going to put it too low and let this simmer, like I said, for like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, or until your meat is nice and tender, okay? It's been 20 minutes, but let's go ahead and check our meat. And I feel like it's still not ready. It's not tender, as you can look. So we'll leave it for another 10 minutes, okay? And maybe the sauce needs to be a little bit more thick as well. So 10 more minutes. Okay, so it's time to check our meat. And yes, it's done. Those 10 minutes did work. You can leave it longer if, if you want. So it was a total of 30 minutes. Alrighty, so I have a little bit of rice. You can also add some beans. And let's go ahead and put our meat. And this smells really good, you guys. All right, so we have came to the end of the video. And this is very good, you guys. You guys can enjoy it with some rice, some beans, some salad, make them into burritos. And this chile is actually very good to make some pork tamales, which I don't even have a video on that. But I guess I'll wait until it's tamale time, which is around holidays and Christmas. But anyways, let's go ahead and give this a try because my mouth is watery already. Mmm. Very good. You guys, it's very good with the flour tortilla. Oh my God. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Let's Cook Them. Let's continue. It's really good.